Sleepyhead. You know Sherry from the book club? I caught her the other day eating a whole wedding cake. And nobody was getting married. Mm. Your mustache is getting long again. Might need a trim soon. <laughs> In a way, it's good the basement flooded. You've spent so much more time with us lately. Just a reminder, two weeks from now, I'll be out of town on an assignment. So, I was stargazing last night while you were off in your man cave, and I snapped a picture of some strange lights. It's probably just a satellite or a lens flare, but, you know, what if it wasn't? Honey, did you read my latest article? I got an interview with the mayor, and I tore him apart. Verbally, I mean. I sent a picture to the Inquisitor magazine, and they put it on the cover. You should pick one up, dear. Well, I can't be caught reading it. My typewriter is out of ink. We've got more somewhere, right? <laughs> Have you seen my Salty Hearts novel anywhere? <laughs> oh, hush you. <laughs> I'm working on a little side project, dear. I'm going to expose corruption in the fishing industry. And I know just the ship to sneak aboard. That never stopped me before. While you're waiting on your coffee, could you bring Stacy some milk? Soon I'll be a hundred feet tall.
Thanks for the milk, Dad. Soon my bones will be made of steel. Your coffee is ready, sweetie. I made your coffee just the way you like it. Sea salt and tartar sauce. Now that you're energized, I need you to take care of some chores in the backyard while I get some work done. There's grass to mow, weeds to pull, wood to chop, and don't forget to make burgers for lunch. Three bankruptcies since opening in 1960. Two directors Dad, last year. Our hamburgers really <laughs> out of hand. What if they were made from bodies? <laughs> well, that clown looks like a butterfly. That one looks like a dragon smashing the town. <gasps> well, can the town have a wizard princess in it? Lady Stacy defends the town. Sure, but only if the dragon can be named Tom Lord the Coolest. Don't get too comfortable, dear. I've got a busy day planned for the whole family. It's a surprise. Hmm, who's Fairna Mokarin? Largest in the world? <laughs> we'll just see about that. you know where to find an M1 modified for motor drives? <coughs> oh, it's such a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, the worms are wiggling. Yes, even worms are happy to be outside today. <laughs> Mom, Dad said we could get a horse for the backyard. It'll eat the grass and be our new super cool furry lawnmower. Yeah, we need a battle horse to protect the family. Dad said we could get one. Oh, he did, did he? <laughs> the other day. It was like 50 feet or like 100. I don't want to brag. I 
think some of my army men are still buried there. Rest their souls. <laughs> of course I had to. Do you want their bodies lying all over the house? Be careful, Dad. Don't mess up my collectibles. Tommy, why do you have so many footballs? They're all different and like special or something. Oh, Bro. now I get it. What? They're like dollies. Some are for playing house, and some are for playing space dolly, and some... No, they're not. They're not like that. Stacy, why are your butterfly hair clips all over the yard? I was returning them to nature. <laughs> Well, I would mow the lawn, but I hurt my knee at basketball practice, and my elbow at baseball, and my foot at... Hey, Dad, the way you're mowing the lawn reminds me of this one episode of Sports Johnson, where he goes back in time and meets his son, Sports Johnson Jr., or SJJ, and he and his son have to train to win the future soccer match between Earth and Pluto, and they do, and Dad, are we ever gonna play soccer together? Stacy, everyone knows that. The ladybugs are really getting out of hand this season. I should pick up some insecticide before they eat all my flowers. No! Oh, my flowers! Stacy, why are you pouring ketchup in your brother's drink? I'm just trying to make a potion. Well, dear, I've got a book of chemistry that'll teach you. Dad, when you check trees, do they feel pain? Jeez, Stacy, don't things like trees and animals don't feel pain. aquariums are festering prisons of iniquity, but I've got to write an article for the paper. Can't you make an exception this time? For me? Hmm. Oh, uh, groceries. We need to go to the grocery store. We need things like cereal for the kids. Right, kids? Well, we already have cereal. We need so much cereal. Then it's settled. 
we're all going to the grocery store. <laughs> I want Sports Johnson cereal and pizza and soda and chocolate milk. And I want an apple. Ugh. 